Now everything is locked and loaded, uh, Naga. All confidence at an all-time high right now. 29 minutes to go, so less than half an hour to go. 28 minutes to go for the uh, launch of Chandrayaan-3. The site has been completely cleared. All sanitization has taken place. The telemetry uh, station at the Satish Dhawan Space Center is fully ready. The monitors are on. Everything is completely ready now. Nothing can change the fact that 2.35 p.m. is going to be the launch moment. That's absolutely true. In fact, uh, yesterday it rained heavily in the border of uh, uh, Temple and Andhra Pradesh. Uh, we almost had doubts if the weather would play a spoil sport. But uh, luckily, even the ISRO scientists are saying that was not a concern at all because they have predicted the weather much before and they also set a reserve date. But as per plan right now, uh, it's going on. There's no going back from here. Another 30 odd minutes takeoff will happen here at the Sri Hari Kota Center. The ISRO chairman has just arrived at the mission center uh, to join him and to give him more support of the previous ISRO chairman. Mr. Sivan, who was the ISRO chairman back during Chandrayaan 2, who has more and more insights about it, who has more experience, is also here. The present ISRO chairman was a Vikram Sarabhai Space Center director back then when Mr. Sivan was leading the Chandrayaan 2 uh, project. And now he's also here guiding him, giving him support uh, to represent the government. We have Mr. Jitendra Singh, the union minister who represents the PMO, he's also here. So, series of scientists are here at the Mission Control Center. Post this, all the action moves to Bengaluru where the tracking center is there and all eyes on August 23rd when the landing will happen. And most likely, uh, like last time, we would, we would not be surprised if the Prime Minister once again flies down to Bangalore to be with the ISRO scientists to give them a, uh, like, hug last time what he did for Mr. Sivan and give a pat on the back for... Uh, for taking up this project and going ahead within a short span of four years after the last glitch. You know, I just want to speak for a moment about uh, the LVM-3, which is the GSLV Mark III rocket that you see in those pictures. I want to focus on that rocket for just a moment. We've got those images of the rocket, live pictures. This is ISRO's uh, direct feed, unedited. We're showing you both the spectators as well as the rocket as it is right now in Sri Harikota. That's the rocket live with no deferred uh, visuals at all. It's a 43.5 meter high rocket uh, called the GSLV Mark III. It's called the LVM-3. Uh, it has a liftoff mass of 640 tons. It has three stages. It has a diameter of 4 meters, uh, 4,000 kilogram payload, about 3.9 tons, as a matter of fact, is the payload that this beast of a rocket is going to blast Chandrayaan-3 into space with. We're going to be joined by experts in just a moment from now, but I want to continue to stay with our reporters for just a moment longer, uh, because you can see the sky is a little cloudy, but that, I doubt, is going to deter ISRO right now, because they've got all their MET data, they've got all their weather data, visibility data, all locked and loaded. So like I said, unless something drastically changes, which it shouldn't, 2.35 p.m. and a few seconds is when the Chandrayaan-3 mission officially begins by being blasted off from Sri Harikota.